Hi, I'm Brandon Uranowitz, and I'm currently playing Larry in Burn This at the Hudson. You may also know me as Mendel Weisenbachfeld from the 2016 revival of Falsettos, or Adam Hochberg from An American in Paris. And today I would like to talk about rehearsal, and specifically rehearsal discoveries, and changes, and explorations. Everyone hates his parents, don't be ashamed, you'll grow up, you'll come through, you'll have kids, and they'll hate you too. Falsettos is about a family living through the AIDS epidemic in the 80s. Mendel is the family psychiatrist who ends up falling in love with Trina and finds himself in this family. That whole process for me was more about toning down the neuroses. There was one moment where we were playing with what it would be like if Mendel thought he had magical powers. If you watch the PBS version, you could see there are moments when I sort of use my hand to like approach Marvin's head and like grab thoughts and like toss them out. And my first instinct when we were like playing with that idea was like take my hands and just like like throw them at Christian's head. And we were like, <laughs> okay, he's not Mama Rose. Like he's, he's just gently trying to grab these toxic thoughts, swirl them around in his head and just flick them off into the, the ether. So as opposed to just abusively getting it out of him, we made the more subtle choice and more nuanced and more interesting choice. That sort of happened over the course of the rehearsal period. There were many moments where we discovered that Mendel's gentle sort of fragile touch was more helpful than the neurotic sort of aggressive approach. <laughs> An American in Paris is a post-World War II love story, and Adam functions as a narrator of sorts and is also part of this love triangle and trying to get the girl. When I first got the treatment for An American in Paris, there was a mention of a war injury. It just added to his defeatedness. It was a shameful thing for him. When we first got to the rehearsal room, Chris, our director, was like, well, what if he had a cane? What if he had something to help him get around? And I tried it for a little bit, smoking my cigarette and like walking around with a cane. And I was like, it's too easy. He would suffer through it and wear it as a badge of honor as opposed to shame so that it showed his strength and his resilience. And it was all just with getting rid of the cane. Burn This is about four people coping with the loss of a very close friend, and Larry is Anna's gay roommate. My work with Michael in the rehearsal room for Larry was in the physicality. Something very specific that Michael pointed out to me was when I have a zinger or when I try to like cut through to someone with humor, I, um, I like bob my head a lot. But we wanted Larry to always be a beacon of light and hope and positivity, much like Adam in An American in Paris. Anytime I would have a punchline and I would do this, Michael would just be like, too bitchy. We definitely didn't want Larry to be a bitch. We wanted him to be a friend. It seems like a very small thing, but I have to be very aware of this. Love can tell a million stories. For me, rehearsal is all about collaboration and what it means to take one's own instincts and fuse them to a director's vision and how your instincts change and mutate and how you discover new things that you never knew were there. And it is all part of the actor's craft. Since love 